No, no, ya, hoy es sábado y el cuerpo lo sabe. Perfecto. Entonces, en ese caso, Leon, let me find you. Where are you? Yes, right here. Yes. Hi, yes, let, let, me right. Let, yeah, let me introduce you to everybody. Leon is a member of the, I believe, the Ecuador uh, study group. That's the way that you guys call it. Uh, he's from Hong Kong and he collects yes. Ecuador. Yes. So this is an interesting thing and we in Latin America at least personally I always feel very honored when someone who is not from the region collects a country from from our side of the world so with that said he specializes in Ecuador especially in postal history and his presentation today will be one of those chapters that he has fairly advanced in his collection that is the maritime mail of Ecuador during the colonial period so with that said, Leon, this is all yours. Go ahead. Okay, thanks. Uh, good evening, uh, everyone, uh, to the American friends. And uh, today I will uh, display my uh, collection. It's, uh, this presentation is all based on my collection. Uh, it's uh, for the Latin American postal history. It's uh, the new area for the Asian collector. And I think so my is uh, the, the first one, uh, maybe the Chinese man first one, the studying, the collecting, and uh, the, the research, the early American post history. Today I have the presentation, my, my question. Yeah. Yeah, okay, we can do, see it. Do, Okay, thanks. Okay, so my, to my topic, topic is the maritime mail of the Ecuador at the colonial period from 1864 to 1822. I have the five contents. The chapter one, the maritime mail from the Spain to the Ecuador. The chapter two, maritime mail from the Ecuador to Spain. The chapter three, the Spanish Pacific Coastal Mile. The chapter four, Maritime Mile, where Ecuador. The chapter five, Appendix. Okay. In the 1764, the King's Carol Rose III created the Spanish Maritime Mile. Martin Post System and uh, established the first post office at the port of the La Corona and the Cadiz to handle mail between Spain and uh, Americans. The mail was sent by the pocket port to Havana, where it was sold for distinctions in New Spain, the Caribbean Islands, Central America, Ecuador, and the most of the South America. And this, this is uh, the postal trail from the 11th September 1764 to the 2nd November 1796 from the single letter, double letter, triple letters, and the arms. The drill from the three rows platter and the five row platter and the seven rows platter and the ten row platter. With the information of the maritime position, the new ray was established. And from the, the 1723 to 1734, the mail between Spain and the Americas was carried free of charge. All right, I was uh, going to the next page. Next page. The next page and uh, the route, the two important uh, ports of the Atlantic, the map of the America. Number one, uh, the name is uh, La Corona. The number two, the Cadiz. It's uh, also the, the Spanish, the Span, the, the, the main port of the Atlantic. Next page, the official literature. 
from Spain to the court to Ecuador, the stature from the Majus, Spain to the Quito date circa in the 1776, the route, the Maju to the Corona and to Havana and to Catigana and uh, to Quito, the marks, the black or the mark was used as um, official mail in Spain, in Spain, and the sense. 1716, and uh, the main sculpture, Polar Wall, the Fall King, mm -hmm. the great main sculpture, the five, the five means the five real sculpture, the double weighted nature. And this nature, I think, one of the earliest recorded nature from the span to the Ecuador, sent by the Cronum Maritimo. Next page. The next page, I want to talk the postmark of text of the Spanish colonial maritime mail. The royal, royal decree of the 6th of August 1764 by King Carlos III established the new rules of the mail in all Spanish Korea and uh, corresponding the postmark was including introduce the performance of the male, the male coach of the Spanish America as well as the Nacrona and the Cadiz in Spain. The way for which the postmarking indicates the origin of the French dependence, including Spanner for male originally from Spain to the America, uh, India's uh, America inland male to Spain and. Uh, is that the literature in intimidating from the Caribbean. A useful dispatch arrived well all translated as uh, islands, South and Central America and Spain, and also lot of papers indicate the different time and the place. The, this literature, the literature from the Andalusia to the Quito, date the 1778, the Max, the Maritime Mount. Dirk, Dirk mentioned the mark is span, is span is one, mm -hmm. is one. The Yami Table one applies in the La Corona. And the mark Andalusia Alata. Also the manuscript Pola Corona mm -hmm. on the center of the cover. The contents, the receptor of the Jose Corsi, Leo the Pizarro. The president of the royal oh, Adolusi yeah, uh, of the Quito between the 1778 and the 1784. This one, this one, hostile, this one, deceptive. Yeah. The next page. For the Mr. Jeffrey mm -hmm. Lewis, uh, RDP research, the mail from the span to its Colonials, it is this is uh, even scarce than for the colonials to Spain. And the currents of the Spanish colonia was uh, the civil rail, the, the rail platter, which was worse more than the Spanish rail. Yes. For from Spain to colonials, the currents is uh, the rail center. The, from the colonials to Spain, the rail is followed. This nature. This nature, the span to the Quito date, the 15th, the March, the 18th, 18, 18, 1787. The route, the Maju, the Cadiz, the Havana, Cadigana, and the, by the Spanish naval ship, the Cadigana, the Quito, the overland, <laughs> the markings, the Marmal demarcation mark, the span, span. The Yami Type 2 applied in Cadiz and the box rate mark the file PTA, the, the file several rows, and also the manuscripts of the, the folder king. The rate, the file rows pattern for the double weight nature from Spain to the, to the America.
Uh, Leon, I, I have a question. Uh, yeah. the, the five PTA, the PTA stands yeah. for peseta or that's another description of? Plata. 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 Oh, plata. Silver. Okay. Plata. Plata. Silver. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Next page. And uh, I want to talk to the, the rules. The original maritime law itself rules from between the, the America. And this rule map from the, the, the Yami Cruz, the, the book, the post history of Spanish New York arena. And in the, the 1767, the director's service was established between La Corona and uh, uh, Buenos Aires, the, the capital, the real of the Plata province. Was selling every other month and the new maritime miles west to the South American represented a great improvement in the communication with that distant part of the Africa. I have uh, named the, the number one is the uh, Nakrona, the number two is the Havan, the number three is the Boris Aris, and number four is the Panama, and uh, number five is Lima, number six is the Guapi. Uh, number seven is Cartagena, and uh, two different rules. And uh, the now I I want the pretension the different rules the 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 now the now letters. Okay, that's one. The span to the Ecuador, where Buenos Aires and the Lima. The from the span of Sevilla to Guapi. The date is the 23rd of March, the 1805. The route, the Sevilla and Lucia, and the two, the La Corna, the Boris Aris, by the Spanish name ship, and the Boris Aris to Lima overland, the Lima to Barquilla, the coast sea, the marks, the maritime mile, described in mark, the Andalusia is marked. And uh, the main sculpture, Paul Lima, Paul Lima, and on the center cover, also the file and the writing, and the writing. The, rate, the file wheels flatter for double written nature for the, from Spanish to America, and for the 1764 this. And uh, next page. Next page is very interesting. Uh, band to the Ecuador, where Buenos Aires and the Lima. And also the sand place the Sevilla to the Quito. Date the 8th November, the 1809. The, the route, the Sevilla to Andalusia and the, and the La Corona, Buenos Aires, spent never shape. And the Buenos Aires, Lima, to the overland. The marking. And uh, the the migration mark, the Spanish mark, Andalusia. The transfer mark, Lima, and the reverse, the reverse. The six, six hundred rating. And the fold rate, I think this one, the six, the real platter for the step one, which nature from the span to the bridge, from the British Aris for the 1807 race. I think. It's a uh, uh, real no, real no from the span to the Ecuador, where Lima sent by the girl Maritimo. Next page, also interesting. It's a uh, span to the Ecuador and uh, Miss sent to the Cuenca, span a date the quicker uh, 1785. This large wrapper, wrapper from the Sevilla addressed to the Quinca. This one is one of the Quinca. Uh, I think it's uh, Ecuador, the Quinca, but, uh, yep. it's, but it's a span. It's, uh, the city also named the Quinca. The first the wrapper was addressed to the city, but uh, when it was received, the postman saw this is referred to the Queen House of America. 
the green character uh, India's. And the postman notes the different ink India's. Okay? And the in Queen House then somebody wrote the 27. 27. The different ink, I think is the, the heart, heart ink, heart black ink, and also the lacrina, lacrina, also lacrina, and uh, and, and the Indians, Indians. The route, and uh, the route from the Sevilla to Cuenca and the Spanish Cuenca, and uh, to uh, lacrina. The Corona is a uh, Spanner mark. The Spanner mark is a Yami, Yami Temple 1, Temple 1, a pledge, a pledge in the La Corona. And, uh, Chinese. and the La Corona to the Havana mm -hmm. and the to Cartagena by Spanish ship and the Cartagena to the Santa Fe to, to the Gato to the Punca by the land. This, this is a route. The route, the route four pieces and uh, six rows. Four pieces and six rows. We can see the main scripture on the top right, four pieces and the six rows. Are you called to the 38 rows? It is possible that the 17 was the maritime rail, route. 10 rows per ounce. And then the nature reach the 1.7 ounce. The inland traffic between the Katigena, Katigena is the closer, the closer port, and the Gato was the eight rails per ounce, and the Gato to Quinca, the four rails per ounce. Then, then the, the eight plus four, the multi, multipolar, multipolar, the 1.7 equal the 20.4 and you call 21 rows, inline row, inline rate. The plus the 17 rows in maritime row. The total is uh, it is 38 rows. Also the four piece and the uh, six rows. This is uh, the, 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 the crypto row. I think it is was very interesting. I will go on the next page. Also, the, the post wrote goes in the aperture, the Barabia, the Barabia is uh, in it's, uh, the port of the Pacific and the capture the Guatemala, uh, Panama, the Lima. Mm -hmm. and this map is also shows the port of the post route of the, the, gen, the general highway, general highway, the highways of the valleys, captured from the Santa Fe and to, to Lima. And this map from the uh, George Meyer book. The next page. This page, I will show the, the, the race from the Ecuador to Spain, the, the date the, the 1805. The Spanish colonial empire was uh, divided into the nine postal Demarcation zones under the, the 1779 post race. One of these zones, zones was the Bilu. The Bilu Zoo, including modern Bilu, Ecuador, and the part of the Bolivia. And the empire later from the Spanish colonies to Spain and uh, have the postmark mark to indicate the zoo. For this rich, I find the uh, Divide from the, the seven seven step from step one to the seven to step seven, the reach of the in the rails balloon from the eight to the twenty nine. I will show some example for this this race. Next page. Next page, from Guarquia to Cadiz, the date the circle the. 1809. This font from the Barbary Capital was marked with the name of the zoo, the Bilu. The Bilu. Barbary is uh, the Apple's main port of the Pacific. 
the root, the Guardia, the Panama, the Patagina, the Cadiz, the Spanish naval ship, the Max, the Maritime Mile, the Macrypsion Mark, the Guardia, and the Bilu. The Bilu is a sister temple. The Guardia one applied in the Guardia, and the written mark the eighth R, handstand, 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 also the sixth handstand. The rich, the eight rows for loose for up to the step one, the five, a damas, which later from the Ecuador to back. The next page. Let's page the, the Guardia to the Cadiz, the date, the, the 1818. The rich, the 15 rows in the loose, this was unpaid at a half ounce with later and to be paid by the addressee. The marking, the marking is the, the, the Guardia de Verb, Guardia de B, Guardia de B, and the Bilu. The Bilu is the applied in Guardia and the 15, 15, the 15 RS, 15 RS and the rating on the bond. Also endorsed, endorsed the, the frigator, frigator, Vocarina, Vocarina, Vocarina at the law lecture means Paris station. The route, the director Guardia Cadiz route, all the Guardia Panama Cadigina in Cadiz. This teacher was sent to Madhu from the Cadiz. Also, the 10 of the full lecture and the three the, the quarters was paid and handwritten on font. It was received in the 25th of January 1819. Uh, for my research, only five would record the lecture with the Bilu, with the Bilu and the Guardia TV, the mark from the Ecuador to Spain and the fall in my collection. The next page, I will show the next, that's four. <coughs> The Guardia to Maju, the date is the 1818. The, the marks, the, the Guardia degree, and the, the blue, all applied in the Guardia. The written marks are AR, the AR is my AR, also 618. The endorse, endorse this one, this place, the polar frigator, X, X. Speculation, speculation is one. The carried by this ship, this frigator, this frigator. On the 21st of May, 1818, 11 Spanish ships set sail from the Cadiz to the Chile. And this ship is in this condition. And then the next one. And that's why also the, the Bilu postmark and the, the Guardia Dupe postmark. And uh, in, those, in, those, in those this place, the Paul Panama, Paul Panama, at a low lecture. And I think this lecture was carried by the ship, carried by with the ship of the Spanish mail to the Panama because the inland use was closed due to the the features or independence of the American countries. This literature from the Guardi to the Ponce Rivera, Hispana, date the 22nd of Jan January 1818. Also, next page. This uh, is literature. From Guarque to Maju, where Lima date the 10th July 1815, and the route Guarquea to Lima to Buenos Aires overland, and the Buenos Aires and to Arena, the Spanish ship, never ship, the Parana to Maju, the land, the markings, markings, the only one markings, the blue mark, blue mark. 
in the Sitar Temple 3, Lima Temple 3, it's uh, 1810 to 1811. Uh, also, also, I think it's a literature usage. And the written mark, written mark the 29, written mark 29, 29 RS and written. The rate, the 29 rows of balloons go up to the one ounce, which later from Ecuador's span to be paid to the entrance. And I think it's only recorded this usage, the blue mark, blue marking to span from Bahia by the Rona Maritimo. And the next one. Also interest from the Cuenca to Maju date to the circles uh, uh, 1812. It's, uh, this is a font. The route to the Cuenca, the Guardia, the land, the Guardia, Panama, La Corona, the Spanish ship, La Corona to Maju, the land, the markings, the uh, maritime mile department mark, also is a Cuenca, Frank, and the blue. Blue, this, this mark is a uh, theta. Time for the Queen have one, the uh, sectors uh, uh, 1800 and 1816, applied in the Queen car, and uh, endorsed the, the X on the font. The, lit the letter was uh, prepared by the sender, and uh, the uh, X indicates, it, indicates no positive due in my group. Uh, this power uh, font only recorded later from with Bilu of Cuenca by the Corona Matimo. The next page. Next page, the Franquia to Maju where uh, Guatemala date the circle the 1817. The route Franquia and uh, post San Jose and uh, to Guatemala and the uh, water the Cruzo, the Mexico, and the uh, Havana, Cadiz, all the Peru, and the Macu, the Martins, the, the Guarquilla, Frank, and the Pilu, applied in the Guarquilla. Uh, also, the structure in the trusted mark, the Frank, Frank in the Guatemala, Guatemala, a plant in the Guatemala City, and the weight, the two, one four ounce and the written mark is a four t one point hundred eighteen. The rate the standard paid in Guarquilla is the fourteen the one fourteen half rows for the eighteen rows per ounce. This lecture is one of two record with the Frank Guatemala mark on the Ecuador covers. The second, the other record is date is uh, 29 June 1819. From the Parque to Spain with Guatemala in the Dr. James Bataclan Station, uh, Colonia Central America. The chapter three, I want to talk the Spanish, the Pacific, Coastal Mile, and uh, I showed the map, it's uh, the Central American map. And the number one is the Guatemala City, and number two is the Mexico City, and number three is the uh, Acapulco, the coast of the Mexico, the coast of the Mexico, of the Pacific, then number four, the Panama City. Also, I think this one is uh, the Pacific Coast of Mao, uh, from the Panama City the, uh, to the Bahia, Ecuador, date to the, the 19 February the, the 17, the 77. And this is uh, the famous cover. The mapping is uh, the, the Panama mark. The content the entire uh, sent to the address for the except the 5,000 pesos and uh, the item promotes the payment the rest of the page. And uh, this one is uh, a list of the coordinator from the Panama to the capital. 
and the Arista reported usage of the, the per stamp map in the Panama, sorry. And this one is one of the, the two examples for the Panama map and, uh, during the colonial period are known. And the other report example to Panama the has a similar uh, in the quality spread in black, but I'm date. The next page. Uh, one question about that Panama. Is that the earliest Panama yes. mark now? Well, yeah, okay. Yes, yes, yes. That's the earliest. Okay. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. The next page. Hi, hi. Uh, page. Uh, wait. Uh, the, 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 the previous. That uh, cover also means uh, something, Leon, that you should know. It says that it's Franca a la mano. But it's written in the middle. What is said that the letter was already paid. Have you seen it? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Now, Franca la mano, that means that it, it has been paid on, by hand. Yeah, hand. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, the prepaid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah. Yes, I, yeah, thanks, but, uh, thanks if I may yeah. add something, it also has the the rubrica, the signature of the postmaster on the left lower corner, Castaño. Castaño, that's right. Castaño, Castaño. I mean, that's yeah. right. Was the yeah. postmaster certifying that it was paid, uh, you know. That was paid. In my hand. Okay, thanks. I think, I think, understood, yeah. Okay, I will continue the next page. Sure. Yes. The, uh, that space is a ship register from the Panama to Ecuador, the date to the 28th November, the 1798. Uh, this literature uh, containing the discharge of the goods which was carried by the ship uh, between the ponds, uh, as well as the customer control. Uh, this document differ from the bills of landing, which were recepted uh, of the remark in fact, goods delivered to the captain of the ship, the ship register cover, the meeting information and uh, the content uh, in powers. There's a communication with the uh, involvement of the Spanish mail and the consequently having to pay postage. Uh, for the report ship register, register transatlantic power originating from the different the territories in the Americas in the 18th and the 19th centuries. Uh, there be only the 16 the total in the hand. And uh, I think I find uh, uh, and this uh, the postmark, the Panama and uh, the, the Frank and also the, the manus also the manuscript in the in the in the uh, the gesture and the the, the 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 banking the banking this one the, also the 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 ship the ship the boat name the boat name the the Navastra Navastra Sanara Sanara North and uh, Dolores Dolores. It's, uh, I think it, this is uh, the ship's name. Ship's name. Also, the written mark is uh, 18. It marks uh, 18. It marks 18. This one is the uh, only ship register cover report from the Panama to the Ecuador. Also, I will go to the next page. Next page also is uh, interesting. It's uh, from the, the South Meta, South Meta, the Salvador to Lima, where Guavia, the date uh, the, the 26th of May, the, the 1801, the route, South Meta, Guatemala, the Mexico, and the uh, Acapulco, Guavia, and the Lima, the Mark. Struck, struck the song Sansa Metal with a fancy cancer. Only postmark used in this city in the colonial period. And this struck in the translate with Guatemala. Guatemala postmark. And uh, the, 
the rain mark, the forehead, forehead elevated, and then endorse, endorse the low lecture, and uh, for Guatemala, Mexico, and uh, Acapulco, and Guavia, and uh, I find this information, so I have the, the beat this one, and the reach the four half row close for the single wedge. And uh, this feature uh, only cover now from the, the either the Salvador or Guatemala follow, following this route. That may be the the oyster record nature from the Central America to South America, uh, from the Dr. James was a pass of cooling. That's a beautiful cover. <laughs> yes. uh, okay, I will. Uh, I will. Puedes traducir después. Sí. Ese, ese de Guatemala a México sale por tierra hasta mm -hmm. Acapulco. De Acapulco sí. lo embarcan. A Guayaquil y de Guayaquil a Lima. Esa es la ruta que sigue esa carta. Ok. ¿Quieres que se lo traduzca? Sí, Salvador. tradúcelo para que sepa él. Ok. León, uh, Julio César told me that basically he wanted to explain the route de, de Guatemala to Mexico was an overland. Then from Acapulco, obviously, it's a maritime all the way to Guayaquil and then overland to Lima again. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. The, the, the Mar Maritime is a part and the, and the the clips, the, the, the overlap, yeah, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, thanks. And I will go to the next page. That page uh, I have also a question. I have also a question on the previous yeah, yeah. Uh, Four and a half reales, a bellón or silver reales? Because I understand Guatemala who are using silver reales, Jamil. Can you help in this, please? Yes, it's uh, silver. In, silver, in not bellón. It was only used in the peninsula in Spain. Okay, thank you, Jamil. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thanks. I will go to the next page. Also interesting is the capture fricator mile. The Lima to the Guatemala, where the Guardia dated the seeker, the 1810, the little font. Uh, from the route, the route in the Lima, Guardia, the, in Guatemala, the mark, the mark says, uh, the, the black mark, the Bidu black mark, the poor mark. And the, the, the blue, the red part, the center temper, the Lima 2, uh, applied in the Lima. And they endorsed the poor for here and uh, in the fricator, the, the warrant, the warrant on the font, this one, font. And the red mark, the 12, the 12, it had written. Then the red, the, the 12 reds, for one ounce weight later. And they also reference the American, the Warren Predator was captured by the Spanish naval uh, when his ship was smuggling the commercial goods until the, the 18, 1830s. When it took part in the broke age of the War Guadalajara. Sale de Lima y sí. se va por tierra a Piura y de Piura a Guayaquil y de Guayaquil a, a Panamá y a Panamá a Guatemala, seguramente, In por barco. Mm -hmm. uh, Leon, what Julio is telling me is that this letter, of, yeah. uh, again, over land from Lima to Piura, who is a city, that's a city in northern Peru, then it's still over land to Guayaquil, then maritime Guayaquil, and then maritime to the entry point in yes yeah yeah yes 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 and the, i think the, the this is my lecture uh, by ship is uh, and maybe not the full full trip only the part trip only the part trips the, the, the by ship and the the, the other part uh, other part of the the, the route sure. by the by the land that is uh, I, I think yeah Ok, let, let me translate it to Julio. Lo que te está diciendo Julio es de que, claro, es una parte marítima y otra parte overland porque no todo era una, una sola... Es una ruta combinada, prácticamente. Sí, sí, sí. Ok. Ok, gracias. 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 Gracias.
graph here, and the, the flag, the mark type one, uh, is the flag. This flag is the season, the, the, the 33, uh, multiple in the file, uh, and then the, the read, the center page postage, and the, I, um, I find some of the reference, uh, this route was relatively the, the secret from the attack by the Paris. There are no reference about the state of weight of the postage. According uh, to the uh, 1771, the Pando trip, the route was the four rails for the double weight later to Lima. The next page. Uh, it's, uh, it's very interesting. And from the London, from London to Lima, uh, from London to Lima, where Panama and the Fabia, and uh, the date, the 19th November, the 18th November. And uh, I think the route, the London, the farmers, the Jamaica, and the Panama, uh, Panama, Jamaica, Panama, uh, where the British ship. The Panama to Gravia and the Lima, where the Spanish the marking, the maritime mouth, perhaps it marks the Panama, and the endorse, endorse for Gravia, endorse for Gravia, actually the low lecture, and the written mark, the four, the, the half, four half handwritten, and, uh, and also with the inter, internal talking. This is saved the door for the Willis on the 22nd, the, the April, the 1812. It is the same day. And the visit, the four half rows below from the Panama to Lima, paid by receptor for the single features. No. Yeah, no. for my. Disculpa, el porte es de, de Guayaquil a Lima. Los cuatro y medio. De Panamá a Lima. El cuatro y medio de Panamá a Lima es lo que está diciendo. Déjame verificarlo. Verificarlo. Leon, the, yeah. front, the, the, the rate, the four and a half, is for the segment between Panama and Lima or is for the whole length? It's only Panama and Lima. It's, uh, it's, what? Sorry. The, the, the four and a half right here. Oh, yeah. This rate yeah. is from... Yeah. Panama to Lima or mm -hmm. from London to Lima? I guess the answer is Panama to Lima, right? I think, I think it's from the Panama to Lima. Yeah. Right. It's solamente el segmento de Panama a Lima. ¿Cómo dices? There's Sandra? nothing else to say here, uh, Leon. When you yeah. say the internal docketing receipt, receive, re receive it for Bayes, by Bayes. When you tell Bayes, this is a land, uh, this is a land route. The Bayes route is between Lima and the northern part of Peru that goes up to Guayaquil. Okay, uh, it's not a maritime, not necessarily yeah. a maritime uh, route. It's sometimes, and I think in that moment it was by land. Yeah, I think, but, uh, but from the uh, sorry, but from the land and the, power, the, the farmers, the to the America is uh, the maritime route. Mm -hmm. Is it? Is it, and I find this one, this, this, this one is, uh, is uh, maybe for my, the, for my report, maybe uh, someone is uh, in the out. I think that this one is uh, only you know, from, the, uh, from the England to, to Lima, where I could go. And, uh, and also, mm -hmm. I find that uh, this, this, uh, this teacher is the only one and shaped by the, the British ship. British ship. I think that this, this one is very interesting. Maybe, maybe this literature is carried, uh, uh, carried by a privilege, carried by privilege from the, the London, far from London to the Jamaica or to the, the Panama. Yeah. Or in the, in the Panama, in the Panama, in the, in to the, in to the colonial, the, the post office, and uh, the, by the, the colonial, the post system, from the Panama to the frontier to Lima, yeah. I, 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 would, I would like to give my opinion. I think it, uh, it was taken to Panama not by British ship because a British ship would never have been allowed to dock in Panama, 
but uh, probably it was taken by a privateer, a private a private uh, ship. Yeah, yes, yes, maybe, 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 maybe. the private ship, yeah, private ship. Uh, and and yeah. there are examples like that in, in Mexico, so so I think it's, it's uh, better to put privateer or private ship. Yeah, yes, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, and, and again, the rate is uh, four and a half strong uh, silvers. Uh, yeah, sure. Regions. Bayons has a, a, Yamil says it was only used in Spain. In America, mm -hmm. yeah. I agree with Manuel. Yes, yes, I think, maybe, maybe. Yeah. So, one general question mm -hmm. if from America mm -hmm. a letter was sent to Spain, mm -hmm. and you, did it need to be prepaid or could it be paid upon arrival? And what currency, if there was any currency conversion, would be used for the payment in, in Spain? How was that handled? If I may say something, yes, it could be sent. In fact, most of them were sent on paid to be paid by the uh, recipient, by the addressee in Reales de Bellón in Spain, that was the most common way of sending mail. So that, that was the normal, the normal uh, practice. But the was, that, was that a, a rate conversion, let's say X number of strong silver reales well, equivalent to so many balance? 2.5, yes, 2.5. But, but, but it was not exactly, uh, the, the rates were different. In fact, in Spain, they paid less for postage than they did in the Americas. Yeah. Uh, from the very beginning, from 1764 onwards, there was always a higher fee in, in the Americas than it was in Spain, even doing the conversion. Hmm. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Thanks. And, uh... I will go to the next page and uh, maybe the mode uh, discussed, yeah. And uh, the chapter four, the maritime mail will be a capital. And uh, the, the left literature, and uh, from my Jews, Lima will uh, be a The date is 1789. And uh, the mark, the mark, the Hispan, the, the Yami Cap 1, and the approach in the Nakuna. And uh, also the, the manuscript had been uh, on the center cover. Uh, this route, the Maju to the Lacruna overland, then the Lacruna, Havana, Catequena, the Spanish ship, and the Catequena, Santa Fe, Papaya, and Pedro Lima, the overland. And uh, the, the right cover, the uh, covers from the Cadiz to Lima, where Pedro date the 1794. And uh, the written mark and the span, the span is a the Yami type of two applied in the Cadiz. And uh, the, uh, the manuscript, the Pola Corona and the uh, Catepina at the bottom, the right. And, uh, this picture is also the, from the span uh, to the America, the by the, the spanship. And the in the America, and the, the overland. The next page, that page is the, from the, the right, the, the left cover from the Cadiz to the Lima, uh, where Pito, the date, the circle, the 1780. The marks, the marks of the Cadiz, Cadiz, and, uh, and the root map, the span, the, the Yami type one, uh, applied in the Lacrona on the cover. And uh, also the manuscript is Hadivina. Uh, it, it is a root, it's a very scar, and uh, the map from the original, from the Hadis, but forward, uh, Lacrona. 
the Red Harbor from Lima to the Bolivia, where Quito, date to the 1805. The Max, the Red P, Red P loop, the P loop applied in Lima, and the Red H R with a hand stamp, and the Po, Po Catena, the main sculpture at the photo bottom left, and the Z H rail rails for those for up to the five and them as later from Lima to Spain. And uh, that's, that's four powers uh, from the, the, the Spain and the, to the Lima and from Lima to Spain. Uh, also the transfer from the, 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 the upper door and the gate door and, uh, and uh, from the America and the, to the Spain the, by the by the ship, uh, the, by the, the maritime mail, it's a maritime mail, but the part maritime mail, and the, the part route is a line, line of mail. The type of file, I have found some the, the information and uh, uh, for English. And uh, uh, this one is the, from the, uh, the Jeffrey Lewis and uh, the public article in the London uh, British mm -hmm. at the 2008. And uh, for his uh, research, and uh, the number of the covers from the each colonia to span at uh, the colonial period. And uh, for this table, I find the apple door and, uh, uh, from and the focus research, research uh, up to the span and in the uh, colonial period, and the focus record is the four covers, and the four has uh, is made to cover the six to the eleven. And uh, for example, I find just uh, some the blue, some the blue is uh, for the record the the eighteenth, and the four has uh, is made. It's made covers of the 13 to 15. Uh, also, the the the, the Mexico Mexico is supposed to be called the, the covers of the 14 five, mm -hmm. and because it's made to the 100 to 200. And the in the for this uh, this table and uh, where I find and the uh, upper door to the below the cover is very very fair. But, uh, and uh, for my for my collection, for my collections, uh, about uh, about uh, the eight eight covers, eight covers from the Ecuador to Peru in the Colonia also mm -hmm. include the the, the the some the some the font, some font, no entire envelope. Okay, wow. and, uh, and this one is uh, the, uh, the panties. And uh, uh, for my uh, this collections, uh, I have the. Uh, use uh, about uh, eight or the nine years, and uh, uh, when I find the some covers uh, from the Ecuador to to uh, to the uh, Spain or to the other other uh, countries in the colonial period, and uh, uh, in the world auction halls, and uh, I have the the page and. Uh, I have the one this page and buy this cover from the two my uh, Christian. That's it so all. Yeah. Wow. And uh, the thanks thanks for the this for, for your listening and uh, it's, it's, it's my pleasure and I have the presentation uh, to our society. Uh, thanks. Thank you, Leon. Thank you. This is really good. You have an amazing collection so, uh, of this colonial material. Uh, Henry. Congratulations. Congratulations. Henry, sí. eh, yo tengo una pregunta. Adelante. Leon, uh, so people have some questions for you. Okay, uh, no problem. I, I do have a question, uh, Leon. The, the last uh, page that you are presenting with the number of covered none uh, from each period, from this period, are uh, covers in hand of collectors or non letters? In, in my hand. In your hand? Yeah, in my hand. In my hand, about uh, the eight. Uh, eight. Eight covers include uh, the font from okay. the Ecuador to the 
yes. from Ecuador to the Spain. Yes, but but the information that you mentioned that is coming from Geoffrey uh, Geoffrey Louis Lewis uh, from the Royal uh, dated 2008. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, and uh, also I I have the discourse with uh, with, uh, with, uh, with Geoffrey Lewis uh, in his collection. In his collection, uh, you know, it's a it's a famous collection. Uh, the uh, studies uh, studies covers uh, from the the uh, Spanish, the colonial to the Spain, in his creation, he has only one, only one power from the Ecuador to... Yeah, 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 but, 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 the, but again, my, my question is, are letters in possession of collectors or are yeah. non-letters? May, may I rephrase I it a little a, bit? I, no I can letters. answer that, yeah. uh, Manuel. I'm a, I'm a friend of Jeffrey Lewis. I, I met yeah. with him discussing this uh, Topic, as a matter of fact, last uh, September in uh, in Lisbon, and these yeah. are uh, since then he has recorded many more. But these are uh, in private collections or auctions, not okay. in archives. I'm sure okay. there's many more in archives. And since he published this more than a decade ago, many more covers have been uh, have surfaced. Okay, okay, that that was my question. Yes. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Ian. So in, in what it says, reason for estimate following that, uh, that quote from, from Jamil, the rule two and rule one, are there uh, different uh, calculations to, to get to the final estimate covers or what it means? Probably it's described somewhere else in this article, but I'm curious about that. It says reasons for estimate, CTEX, Lopez Bernal, Curry, and then rule two and some are rule one. Yeah, I, I don't remember how uh, he uh, calculated this. He's a brilliant mathematician, so uh, oh, I'm he sure there was some logic of... behind it, but yeah. I'm not sure. I don't remember that... right now how uh, how he reached these numbers. Okay, got it. Thank you. Okay, this one for this one for this one uh -huh. for this one is a, is a rule one. The rule one is a means uh, if the if, if the number of the observer covers is a two or less, and uh, I refrain from the making a guess. A guess. Mm. It's okay. a guess. It's very likely the number of the exciting covers is uh, five or less. Five or less. The rule okay. one. Okay. Uh, for rule one. The rule two. Rule two is uh, otherwise. I have used the number in the in the clone. Clone the four. The clone the four. It, it, this one is clone four. This one yeah. is clone four. Four. I have the assume. That the number of the inciting the covers must be at least five, fifteen percent, fifteen percent more than what I have seen. The fifteen percent more than I have, I have seen. The fifteen mm. percent, such as uh, the, for example, the four, the fifteen percent, the six. Okay. Uh, however, it is a problem less than three times the number in the clone four. And the 15 from the 50 percent and uh, the three times, the three times is 12. For example, is four, three times is 12. And I, have, I have also used my, my own observations about uh, how eagling covers from this colonial uh, uh, source. Mm -hmm. That's all, that's all. Got it, okay. Okay, it's for, the, for this one. I guess you mean was right. He was very patient to read that. In academics, no? What? Sorry, that again, uh, Guillermo? There is a similar article by Jeffrey Lewis on Academus. Yes, in the Spanish version, yeah. Yeah, that word, okay, sorry. You know, you know, I have read the Spanish, Spanish article use uh, the, the, the internet, internet dictionary. <laughs> the translator from the Spanish to the to the English, yeah. Also, I found the from the the the, the, Yami, the article about uh, the uh, topic the span the uh, span postmark postmark published in this in the span manner the translation from the, the Spanish to the English. Okay. Good. Any other questions for? Yeah, uh, Henry. Question. 
Oye, Henry, yo quisiera hacerle una pregunta. Eh, eh, estoy viendo las imágenes, yo no yo no, no entiendo mucho el inglés, pero, pero por lo menos lo leo bastante. Sí. Entonces, eh, vi que en la carta de 1777, de la supuesta primera Panamá, que es R. Namá, que eh, hablaron de Castellón o Castallón, uh -huh. Castañón. Eh, ¿qué, qué, 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 ¿Qué dijeron al respecto de eso? ¿Qué, qué comentario hicieron? Ah. La plana. Generalmente era el administrador de correos que firmaba certificando que la carta ha sido franca, ¿no? Franca, ¿Cómo? hay una serie de varias docenas de, de marcas francas de, la administrador, de, de administradores de correos de las Américas eh, que tienen la rúbrica, ya sea de forma manuscrita o estampada, ¿no? Hay docenas de ellas. O sea que sería Franca Castañón. Castaño era. Creo que tiene una, una sí. N al final. Let's Castañón. go back. Leon, if you don't mind to go back to that uh, page where you have the first Panama marking, the one that has the paid by hand in the middle. Yeah. That one. So the question was related from Edward, was related to the signature yeah. on the lower left. And uh, Yamil was uh, describing that this was put in lieu of the Franca postmark or, or marking Ooh. because this was a prepaid letter from, in this case, Panama to Guayaquil. Yeah, uh, just to, to certify that it was... Uh, a legitimate Franca, it was signed by the postmaster, Castañón, in, in the bottom Castagnon, left yeah. corner. But was this, in, was this handwritten in lieu of the Franca marking? No, or just era certification? Era parte de la Franca. Era parte de la Franca, okay. Sabes que hay dos cartas más con esa marca, Castañón, que son de Panamá. O sea que eh, uh, siempre los coleccionistas ponen eh, solo dos ej ejemplos con el Panamá, con la marca Panamá, pero eh, ya sabemos, pues, gracias a Manuel Arango, de que hay más ejemplos, ya no son solo dos, y de esos ejemplos que, que descubrió eh, don Manuel Arango, eh, tenemos dos más con el, el señor este Castañón. De Panamá. Y Yamil, y tú las otras que has visto también son de Panamá, ¿no es cierto? No, 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 hay de prácticamente eh, todos los lugares, desde Puerto Rico, Nueva España, Guatemala. ¿Y, y este uh, señor Castañón dónde estaba? En Panamá. En el, Panamá. El, el ah, administrador Panamá. de correos de, de, de la ciudad de Panamá. De Panamá, ok. Pero eran administradores varios, Henry, no. La marca no es de Castañón, sino que varios administradores ponían su firma en marcas parecidas. Ok. Exacto. Perfecto, gracias. Eh, Henry. Sí. Para, para que tú preguntabas acerca de las tarifas eh, entre reales de plata y reales de bellón. Sí. Para que tengas una idea, las tarifas de, de impuestas inicialmente por el Correo Marítimo en 1764, las cartas francas que salían de América pagaban 3, 5, 7 y 10 reales de sencilla a onza, reales de plata fuerte. Uh -huh. Mientras que la misma carta enviada a, no Franca, sino a, eh, se llamaba eh, cartas de, a pagar en, en España, pagaban 4, 9, 12 y 16 re, reales de bellón. 30%, 30 más, más o menos. Eh, menos, 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 menos. Menos, menos, menos. Menos, porque es que, digamos, una sencilla eran 3 reales de plata eh, y eh, equivaldrían a 7 y medio reales de bellón. Oh, y, ok. Y pagaban seis a la llegada a España. Entonces era muchísimo menos el, el valor de las cartas cuando llegaban a España a pagarse en España. Entonces, y eso siempre fue así, ¿eh? Desde 1764 hasta la independización de, de las colonias. Entonces las cartas francas en esa ruta deben ser rarísimas, porque si la gente calculaba bien, más le convenía que paguen allá más barato. O se conocen también francas. Sí, son muy raras. Son muy raras. Pero, bueno, ¿no? eh, en el, solamente en el San Francisco Javier, alias La Perla, hay alrededor de 1500 cartas. Oh, ok. <ríe> pero no francas. <ríe> eh, pero francas había... Un puñado, ¿no? Francas había 200 y pico, tal vez. 
John, we Europe. are talking about the, the prepaid letters yeah. that exist between America and Spain because given the, the rate conversion, it was a lot cheaper to send it to be paid or a COD because it would be a lower payment upon arrival rather than sending it to Franca. So yeah. we were discussing probably it's way more difficult to find the Francas, but Manuel said that there is an archive with 1,500 letters. 200 yeah. out of those are Francas. So even though they are rare, well, they are all in the same place now. Okay, okay. Okay, Sam's. Sí, ese es un porcentaje alto. Yo he estudiado las cuentas de varias administraciones de correos, Nueva Orleans, Florida, y eh, como promedio variaba de, de, del 3% al 5%, en algunas veces el 1% eran cartas francas, pagadas de antemano. El resto eran sin pagar, ¿no? O sea que un, un porcentaje bajísimo. Gracias, buen dato. Eh, eh, exactamente, Henry, eh, en ese barco había 242, de, de, de 1500 había 242 francas. Entonces, eh, de 1503 en total había 242 francas. 13%, 13, 14, mm -hmm. un montón. Sí, bastante, bastante. Sí. Ahora, ¿de esas cuántos habrán sobrevivido? Y esa es la otra pregunta. Todos. Bueno, todos. Sobrevivieron porque están en Londres, pero... Oh, verdad, tienes razón. Por, por fuera, quién sabe, ¿no? Eh, y hay también eh, unas muy interesantes en ese trabajo que salían de Ecuador. Eh, hay como unas cuatro cartas de Guayaquil eh, para, para, para España. Y a unas eh, en, un, en un barco que salió directamente, que fue incautado por los ingleses hacia 1808. Mm. Now, I have a question for Leon. Have yes, you sir. seen any letters with the marking Indias from uh, Ecuador? No, no, no. I, I, I haven't said. Yeah, I don't remember uh, seeing any, but I need to look at my, uh, my files. Okay, thanks. Indias would have been applied in Cuba or could be anywhere in the Caribbean? Well, in Cuba or in Spain, um, they were available in, in both places. Okay. Henry, can I sí. ask something? Adelante, Paul. Okay, Leon. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you about this conference, great items, and thank you so much for collecting our country. Uh, my question is in reference to the title, because of the title was Ecuador, Ecuador Maritime Mail, Ecuador Mar Maritime Mail, and we are seeing here a lot of incoming mail, a lot of outgoing mail, and a lot of mail through our country. Maybe it's going to be better if you change kind of the title, I don't know, because uh, uh, also we got some land uh, mails here, not also 100% Maritime Mail. I don't know if you agree with that or, or, or Yamil, you agree with that because uh, we were expecting for just uh, Ecuadorian letters out, out coming for here, but there are a lot of mails through Ecuador, a lot of mail incoming and outgoing. So I think it's you can change a little bit the title in order to get more deeply the, the, the translation of the whole collection that you have. Yes, I think the the, the American mail is the, this picture is the character uh, for this route. The character the, the route is uh, maybe the fourth, maybe the, the, the route, the part of the ship, the by carriage, the carriage ship, and, uh, and an, another route is the by land, or the by hand, or the by privilege. And uh, I think this cover is uh, uh, definite. It's uh, the the American mail. But because, uh, uh, for for example, it's Ecuador, the maritime mail is uh, very, very few. And, uh, but uh, the maritime mail, the post history, is uh, very important in the early uh, post history of the world, world of Italy. Okay. And, uh, and uh, I have the, the thing, uh, maybe such as uh, the uh, uh, such as example from the 
the, the lima to the to the span and the, the root the master master the, the transfer from the Ecuador and the, to the Panama or to the Cartagena and the, and they go to the, the, the go to the the, 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 the Spanish shape and the, the from the Cartagena or to the uh, Havana and then to the, the, the Spanish mainland and the, I think this covers and uh, uh, this covers is a B definite the definite is uh, the maritime mile and uh, because I have the the say some the, the reason the, the tower is uh, the the carriage the part of the maritime part, part of the bad shape. You say this is uh, I I think this I think maybe some that we have we have the discourse about this one this one and uh, and I think the the, the four the four whole shape mail whole shape mail is where is uh, I think it's uh, it's very limited it's a limited mm -hmm. it's a, yeah, limited also also the, the limited to the, the main port, the main port of Ecuador, such as the, the Guavia. So Guavia from Guavia to Panama, so Guavia to the another another main port. I think this one is uh, is uh, it's very limited. I got it, I got for, it. For, so for for I think is the, the, the promote the promote the, the promote this uh, is a politic uh, uh politic topic, political topic. And uh, improve the improve the maritime mile in the early mile in the early in the raw the, uh, the maritime mile in the current period. I think I think the 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 the, 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 the go from the Ecuador go go out and from the the outer outer country the inside Ecuador also the transfer. So I think it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a the full story. I think this is the full story. Okay. Maybe, we are so maybe, proud. Maybe, Thank you. Yeah, yeah thanks. Maybe, maybe the, the maybe the more interesting, more interesting, and maybe the, the, the more, more fantastic. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Leon, there is another question actually. Julio yeah. wants to see the letter that goes through Lima. I don't know which one exactly. Julio, ¿cuál carta específicamente de las que va a través de Lima? This one is the, the, the last one. This that's what? why this page. Julio. Julio, that's in mute. What? Sorry. Unas anteriores, por favor. Hay una que está con tránsito en Lima con unos números atrás. Okay. What? Well, la parte de atrás. Okay, the one that has some uh, transit numbers on the back. You you're showing in previous pages, not on this one. If you can go back a little bit, Leo. Yeah. Oh, the for the. the for this one, okay. So the, such as, for example, for example, uh, so atrás, one more, yeah. I think, or a few okay. more. I don't know. If you can go yeah, back yeah. a little bit, this what? No, no, not that one. Antes, antes de eso. Before Earlier. this page. Keep going. Keep going. Cool. Oh. More, more. Which more, one? More. No. This one? No, no, no. This one? No? No. Four. This, 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 this. The anterior, anterior, anterior. The one before. Más, this one. One more. Go back. One more. This one? That one. That one? No, the next one. The next one. The, the next one? Okay. This one? Why? Yeah. Los números que están ahí, donde dice Lima, hay unos números tachados. 2, 6, 2 o 318. Esto es acá, sí. ya. Yeah. Esos, esos números tachados eran el número de registro de la carta. Entonces, eso lo, era como un... Cuando llegaban las cartas, la, la administración de Lima hacía un registro. Entonces, eh, según la... Eh, he podido investigar yo, estos registros, estos registros 216, 262, eran en lo que aparecía en la lista de envío o en la lista de recepción de cartas cuando se tenían que entregar. Entonces la gente iba a la oficina y veía en la lista la, la carta número 262 era de Mariano. Y cuando enviaban las cartas también hacían ese registro. Entonces acá ha habido... Es como un índex. Tres, tres intentos, claro, como oh, un índex. Okay. Había okay. tres intentos de envío de la carta hasta que salió la 262, 
Okay, déjame, déjame traducirle esto. Leon, what okay. Julio was explaining is this. The, the numbers on the back, these strikeout numbers, these are the actual... Uh, uh, registry. It, it, registry number. And these are the, the number of times that they try to contact whomever or they're made it into the, the registers for, for that particular delivery. So they try it three times. And apparently, if I understood this correctly, this is the registry that was in at the time that it was delivered. So they tried it first, he made it to this patron, they didn't make it, uh, make it to the second one, then to the third one. Did I explain yes. that right, Jamil? Yes, and there was no delivery. The no, post understood. office yes. simply made a list of letters, it posted it in the post office, and people had to go okay. and pick up their letters. Yep. They advertised them for a few months. After that, if they were not claimed, they were returned to, to wherever they came from. Okay. So, Yamil? Yes. Yes, I got a question for you, if you don't mind. So, uh, Henry, could you show us the register cover? It's going to be in the three or more pages. Yeah, the Leon, cover. the ship Actually. register, right? Yeah, the, the registered one I never seen before. Era mío ese. Ah. <laughs> Hace muchos años. Muy, muy, sí. ¿Puedes mostrarlo, Henry, por favor? Sí. Uh, Leon, can you show the register cover? The ship register okay. from Panama. The one from Panama. Yeah, this one. That's the one. Yes, that's uh, Leon. So this is the first time I, I seen this kind of covers. So who was the person in charge to send those covers? So there is not a bill of lading. So who was the, the person in charge for make this kind of inventory of the ships? Do you know, or maybe Yamil know about it? Well, I know a little bit. Uh, yes, uh, the first uh, postal regulation uh, about the, the sending ship registers in the mail was issued in Spain in October 18, 1784, uh, but even before that, they used to s send ship registers like this, except that they were not prepaid. In 1784, they had to be prepaid. It was a, a way to ensure that the, uh, that the ship register was not uh, uh, altered or falsified. So it was sealed, prepaid as mail, put in the mail bag or box, and opened uh, uh, when it arrived to its destination. Eh, eh, en español, eh, estos registros se tenían que pagar de antemano a partir de, de octubre de 1784. Y era una manera de prevenir el contrabando y alterar la, el registro de la carga del barco, ¿no? Uh -huh. y, uh -huh. y se incluían con la correspondencia en una valija o cajas selladas que se abrían al llegar al, al, al destino. ¿Cómo le llamaría esto en español? El sobre de registro. No, registro de embarque se llama. Registro, registro de embarque. embarque. Registro mm. de embarque se llama. Y ahí y lo explica todo. Si lees bien la dirección, eh, dice, contiene el registro del paquebote, eh, el capitán tal y tal, que va de este pueblo, de este puerto, para navegar a, hasta el señor administrador de la aduana de la ciudad de Guayaquil. ¿Y quién pagaba eso? Si es que había cosas de varias personas. ¿Quién el pagaba? remitente, ¿no? El remitente del barco. El encargado del barco, sí. o el dueño del barco, ya. Yeah. Sí. Eso no era correspondencia, sino era la lista de, de la claro, carga del barco. Claro, es kind of bill of lading, pero no es el bill of lading. Sí, no, 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 no. Como correspondencia y, y no, 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 no es un bill of lading. No. Era el registro de la carga que llevaba el barco. Entonces lo mandaban las autoridades de, de, del puerto de salida a, la, a, a las autoridades de aduana del puerto de destino. Y allí dentro de ese sobre iba un listado con toda la mercancía que transportaba el barco. Sí, pero por eso yo digo, es kind of bill of no, of lading. No, es un no, tipo no. de bill of lading. Diferente, no, similar. bill of lading es totalmente diferente. Como es, un packing list. Pero es lo mismo en el fondo, claro, es un packing no, list. Es, no es lo mismo, perdón, no es lo mismo. Un bill of lading es, es una cosa específica para una carga específica. Esta era toda la mercancía, esto es como un sobordo, ¿ya? En términos de dinero, es un, es un sobordo o una lista de la carga que lleva el barco. Para evitar que se alterara, ¿no? Uh -huh. y, y limitar el contrabando, ¿no? Y esas son piezas muy raras. Mucho más raras que el correo ordinario. Sí. sí. Claro. No existen seis, siete de, de toda América. 
No, hay claro. más, hay más. Hay más, ¿no? Sí, yo escribí un artículo hace varios años en, en la revista de la FIA. No me acuerdo hace cuántos años. ¿no? Sobre eso. Ah, bueno. Yo tengo una de Guayaquil al Callao. Véndeme. Sí. Hay varias de Lima, por cierto, ¿no? Hay varias de Lima, sí. De Lima, sí. <risa> si, el, si, si me permite, el... puedo tratar de mostrar una de Guayaquil para España. Seguro. Ah. Leon, if you don't mind, could you stop sharing? Manuel is going to show one from Guayaquil to Spain. Uh, un segundo, por favor. Okay. This one? No, no, no. 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 Uh, if Manuel, you stop sharing. Yeah, if you can stop sharing, Leon, Manuel wants to take the screen to share one, uh, one letter with you. Okay, Sam. Okay. Eh, téngame paciencia un momentico, por favor. Sure. Oh, tu, 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 tu. Walter, ¿tienes el tuyo de Panamá, de, de, de Montevideo a mano? Sí, lo tengo, lo tengo que ir a buscar. Esa justamente es sin pagar porque fue antes de la fecha que, Exacto, que vos decís. Sí. Es la primera de Sudamérica que se conoce sí. y salió de Montevideo y la tengo. <coughs> empiezo mi conexión con esa carta. Cuando dé mi charla empiezo por ahí. Sí, del 79, ¿no? Exacto. Que era tuya antes. Sí, sí. <risa> la cuidaste bien. Pensando en ti. Gracias. <risa> bueno, eh, me, me da pena con ustedes, pero... No, le encontré. Uh, no, no, sí, sí, pero es que me toca... Eh, ya un segundo. A ver, ponga el tuyo. Este de Guayaquil, este de Guayaquil a Lima. A ver, amplíalo, por favor. No, no, se, no, no puedo. Bueno, cada a quien ver, puede ampliar el suyo. ¿No le puedo? Acá, ahí está. Ok. That's one letter from Guayaquil to Lima. Guayaquil a Lima. Ese es el. Cuando pueda, Julio, escaneala y se la mandamos a León como yeah. referencia. Ok. Uh, León, Julio is going to scan it for you. We'll, we'll, we'll send you a, uh, an email with an attachment. Yeah, and... Uh... Voy a compartir la mía para que la miren. And, uh, sorry. Yes. I have this cover, but I try to not dispense this this presentation. Yeah. Oh, okay. Also in my creation. Yeah, yeah. I have the, a lot of the the Frank here, the Frank and the Maya for the Maya Temple One or the Temple Two and the black 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 ink and the red ink. Yeah. Uh, the Guayaquil to the Lima. To, to Lima yeah. as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I have a lot, a lot of the covers. It's a very popular, yeah. Yeah, lo que está diciendo, Julio, es que él también tiene varios de esos, pero no los muestra acá porque esto solamente era la parte marítima de esa... Well, it's uh -huh. power, it's beautiful, yeah. Okay. Eh, me pregunto si, si se puede ver. Sí. Sí, muy bien, muy bien. Yeah, muy sí, bueno. sí, sí, sí. Yeah. Muy bonita pieza. Está yendo yeah. muy bien. Y... Uh, Manuel, ¿has podido confirmar si la firma es del administrador de correos? Porque a veces sí, ahí, hay, ¿no? Porque... hay, eh, eh, hay aproximadamente cinco cartas más, que yo tengo por lo menos registradas, que tienen eh, la firma de este caballero de Panamá, del... del, del ¿cómo Castañón. Decimos? Sí. Otra, otras cinco cartas de Panamá, a otro sitio de, de poquito después, de, hay hasta de 1780 y algo firmadas por él. Entonces, sí, sí era el administrador de, 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 de correos de, de Panamá de esa época. ¿Y esta pieza es de, de archivo o tú la tienes? No, 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 no. Ojalá. <ríe> no, esa pieza es de archivo. Esa es parte de, la, de, de, lo, de lo de la investigación de, de Londres. Mm. Eh, hay, ese era un barco completico que salió de, de, de Lima, porque también hay eh, la, el barco salió inicialmente de Lima entonces está el registro de embarque de Lima con la carga que salió de Lima el barco fue a Guayaquil 
y en Guayaquil le, le produjeron otro registro de embarque ya con, con toda la carga completa para España y después de, de cuatro meses y medio de viaje por el Cabo de Hornos, entonces fue apresado llegando a las Azores. Eh, y está todo el registro completo del barco, todo, todo, el, el diario de navegación, día a día. Eh, bueno, es, es muy interesante, wow. es, es una maravilla. Bien, ese se llamaba el, el, el alias El Vigilante. Y qué raro que hayan guardado toda la correspondencia, porque lo, los capitanes tenían la orden de votar toda la correspondencia al mar. Sí. Sí, pero no siempre ocurría así, Julio César. A veces el, el, el barco um, no tenía tiempo o... Lo escapaba muy, muy pronto. O, o, o no querían. De ese barco inclusive hay una carta muy curiosa que dice, por favor, si, si, si lo llegan a apresar, no lo bote al agua. No, no, no Le hizo tiren, caso, ¿no? No lo tiren al agua, sí. Dice, si se encuentra enemigo, no se bote al agua. En el primer puerto de España se pone en el correo. Eh, así es. Muy bien. curiosa, esa sí está bonita. Sí, sí, sí. Entonces, bueno, de, de esa se las mostraré en la charla que, que, que voy a presentar más adelante, eh, creo que es como en, en mayo tal vez. Entonces, ahí, ahí se podrá ver esa, 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 esa parte. Gracias, Manuel. Bien. ¿Alguna otra pregunta para León? Bueno, ahí en la, en, la, en la charla que voy a dar de Panamá, también tengo muchas de esas y tengo otras ahí que, que aunque yo no soy muy, eh, digamos, experto en la materia, la estoy dando para que sepan por lo menos las rutas de Panamá. Así que el 27 de mayo, creo que el 26, no me acuerdo, es la mía. Así que para que vean las, las pequeñas rutas que habían en Panamá por donde todos sí pasaban. Eso así sí. Que, <risa> todos llegaban a Lima, pero, pero pasaba, todos pasaban por, por Panamá. <risa> todos pasaban por Panamá. Ok. Uh, I, I have a question for Leon. Ok. Uh, Leon, uh, that cover that you showed with an X marking, the yeah. X was an indication that the postage was already paid in full? Yeah. Oh, okay, perfect. Actually, okay. that's similar to that letter that we saw in Guillermo's presentation with an X. So we're yeah. wondering if it could be the same situation. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, that means a prepayment. Okay. Prepayment, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Leon, thank you very yeah. much. This has been fantastic. We tried many things and we thank appreciate you. your time. Thank you so much, Richard. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic material. So tomorrow we are going back to thematic. I guess Mr. Fernando is going to talk about borderline material, right? Are you still there or you're gone? Okay, he left. He left already. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Buenas Bye -bye. noches. Bueno, muchas gracias con todo y buenas noches. Buenas noches. And good morning, Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Julian. Thank you. Have a happy.